Yeah, I know what you're thinking. It's about time Megan and I made our presentation over R.E. Clements. I know. Leading a people to a priestly kingdom and holy nation. Powerful words. Well, first, let's get to the life and times of R.E. Clements. <coughs> Ronald E. Clements was born on May 27, 1929. Clements was an outstanding student in grade school and through his college career. Before pursuing the life of a theologian, Clements went on to be a banker for a short time and then went into the Royal Air Force in 1947 to 1949. After leaving the military, Clements went on to earn his degrees at Spurgeon College in London and then at Christ College in Cambridge. After graduating from Cambridge, Clements went on to get his Ph.D. at the University of Sheffield in 1961. Once Clements received his Ph.D., he went on to lecture for seven years at the University of Edinburgh. Clements lectured in Old Testament language, literature, and theology. From 1967 to 83, Clements went back to Cambridge and lectured in Old Testament. After his time at Cambridge, Clements was appointed Samuel Davison Professor of Old Testament Studies at King's College in London where he became the Foreign Secretary and President of the Society for Old Testament Study. Clements retired from teaching in 1992 and in 2013 was awarded the Burkitt Medal by the British Academy in recognition of special service to biblical studies. Okay. Taylor talked about the life and times of R.E. Clemens, and now I will talk about the methodology of R.E. Clemens. <clears throat> uh, for, for Clemens, the Old Testament is seen as both law and prophecy, or promise, uh, which he found based on his understanding of how the Jews and early Christians understood um, and interpreted Old Testament. Um, <clears throat> He found that understanding how to view the Old Testament was incredibly significant when discussing the theology of it, which then ties into the significance he places on canon, which is the first part of his methodology. He believed that one should be critical of any presentation of Old Testament theology, which fails to show clearly the movements which led to the production of a canon of Old Testament scripture. He continues his work on explaining why even just the setup of the canon is incredibly important for understanding theology, uh, Old Testament theology as a whole, because each key or each part is key into the whole structure of the thing, which then impacts the rest of his methodology for approaching Old Testament um, in a theological way. Uh, he believed that the canon did not come to be by chance, but rather that there's evidently some design and system about the shape that has been um, accorded the material. He also deepens his research into how the structure of the canon affects its interpretation, since the Old Testament is canonized as mainly law and prophecy. Um, of course, it would be interpreted as such. This then leads into uh, the second part of his interpretation or of his theology of Old Testament, which is on um, interpretation. So, aside from just looking at the structure of the canon itself, Clemens saw great significance in understanding. Um, the way in which the Jewish and early Christian interpreters of the Old Testament have set about their task, uh, with the indication which they give of their particular assumptions and presuppositions which they bring to the literature. Um, the main understanding to grasp from Clement's work is that he believed that scripture should be interpreted by scripture, but that one should also have an understanding of the historical and literary context behind the Old Testament. Uh, an Old Testament theology should not only focus on the historical and literal aspects that are key to the formation of scripture, but rather need to also understand the religious communities who accept and use this canon as a central feature to their religious life. This then goes into the significance of tradition, which is the third aspect of Clement's uh, methodology. Um, 
So tradition plays a key in theology and that to be able to understand how the early church interpreted such things as Torah or promise, you need to be able to look at their traditions and the way that they um, responded to their interpretations that they got from Old Testament. Um, Clemens found, uh, even through researching the Torah, that the understanding of law was really a word predominantly used for religious instruction, and especially for the kind of instruction which could be given by a priest. Um, and this ties into the claim that was also made by the early Christians that the whole Old Testament is a book of prophetic promise, which reflects an understanding that exists within the Old Testament canon, again tying back to um, Clement's belief in the important significance of canon. Uh, All right, um, finishing up on his methodology, I'm just pointing out that Clements basically saw that we needed to have an understanding of why understanding of why canon was the way that it was and the significance of the fact that like it is put in the order that it is for a reason and we need to know what that reason is if we're going to be talking about theology. He also explained the significance of understanding the interpretation of Old Testament theology, which how can we understand if we don't understand how to interpret it? We need to be able to look at the interpretation and use it in a way that makes sense um, for our discussion on Old Testament theology. Then also he talked about the significance of understanding the tradition that influenced the interpretation and the way that the canon was set up, which basically then ties back into his whole understanding that you can't have one part without it affecting the whole. You can't just take one thing away from the rest of it. And that's a really huge key into understanding a lot of theology and a lot of life. We need to understand that the part makes up the whole and that you can't just take one thing without understanding the other. Well, here we are. The last part of this project, the conclusion. Now we get to talk about our reflection and R.E. Clements contribution. This methodology that R.E. Clements presents is one that is incredibly significant to anyone studying theology. He showed that there is more to theology than just taking out the parts of scripture that you like or that you understand, but rather you need to understand how everything works all together. Clements has written over a dozen books on the Old Testament throughout his lifetime. The works of Clements has tested the ideas of other biblical scholars and ways of thinking of the Old Testament. Ronald Clements is known for his impressive grade-A works. Clements has shown to be a great example of an Old Testament scholar who has only added to the understanding of the scripture. Clements spent much of his life doing what we are trying to do now, and that is bring new light and a more intellectual knowledge of the canon. So the last thing I have to say is the quote that's at the bottom of the handout. Do what you're doing and do it.